All right, we're going to talk about arm path cues. So these are going to be things that you would do in a throwing session in a bullpen pregame to help you get into a good sequence and pattern of movement with a healthy arm path. But first, you got to understand that the arm path is dependent on how the rest of the kinetic chain is moving. So you got to think of it this way. It's like a whip. And I, that's the simplest way to do this. I'm not trying to overload you with a lot of information. That's why you need to go to topvelocity.net or get into the, our social media and learn more about us. But we, we move with the kinetic chain. That's the whole body in a sequence like a whip. So if you think of a whip, I grab the handle of the whip, I throw the end of the whip back, and I counter it into throwing the handle of the whip forward. And that creates an acceleration of energy. I got to do the same thing. But I'm moving through a lot more sophisticated movements. I'm moving through rotational movements and linear movements at the same time. So, but simply put, if I'm going to start from the ground and I'm going to drive that up, really the hips is like the handle of the whip and the legs is the arm, I'm going to move each joint ahead or the previous joint is going to move and start the movement and move ahead of the, of the following joint. So for example, the, the ankle is going to move down. As the knee pushes down, as the hips push down, and, and also I'm extending to create the forces moving forward. So I'm going to see before I get to the arm path, I'm going to see each joint before it driving the sequence of events, just like dominoes, right? I'm going to, it's going to go ankle, knee, hip, before, shoulder, elbow, wrist, all right? So understanding that, now we can get in the arm path, because if I'm going to get the arm path I want, I'm going to have to apply the lower half sequence correctly in the, in the joints leading up to the arm. So what do we want to do with the arm? Really simple here, not get in advance. I'm going to keep the arm in flexion because it's going to allow us to counter the trunk movements better in flexion. And then I'm going to, right as I break the hands, I'm going to move into a scap load because the scap load allows me to counter trunk rotation, meaning the scaps pull back or the arm pulls back to allow the trunk to move farther forward before the arm goes. Just like the arm lays back next, so the trunk can move farther forward before the arm goes. So the arm path is there to counter the trunk movements because 86% of the energy in the ball comes from the trunk. So what's a cue? A cue would be after I break my hands, which usually comes with, as you start to move down the mound, you're gonna break your hands. I'm gonna stay in flexion. So I'm gonna be, make a little muscle and stay in flexion. And then I'm gonna bring the elbow up and back, somewhere close to shoulder height, up and back. So think of the rhythm here, elbow up and back, then I externally rotate. This is the rhythm. And you can sit here with your feet spread apart and get in this little rhythm, elbow up and back, elbow up and back, right? And this little rhythm here is the kind of the cue. This little rhythm that you get into kind of creates the timing and the sequence of movement. Don't, under, don't lose the process here. Notice how I'm bringing this down and forward before I bring this up and back. Because remember, this has to drive the sequence as we load the arm to then counter the energy coming up before the arm is released, right? So as this is going up and back, this back knee is going down and through. I'm, I'm turning it over and I'm extending it through. So here's the movement, right? And this is just something you can practice, right? You can get in this little rhythm here, right? So if you wanna see it from this way, it's inflection, break the hands up and back, loading the scap, up to shoulder height and back, cocking the arm, and then just keeping that going like you're making a circle here. But the circle's being driven by the elbow, not the ball. This would be the wrong way with the ball. The right way would be the elbow. Elbow, then the wrist, right? Because same thing, you're loading it up, right? Just like we're going shin, knee, hip, we're going shoulder, elbow, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. And now we got to add that into the ankle, knee, hip. Ankle, knee, hip. Ankle, knee, hip starts, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Here it is, boom, boom, right? All right, so the cue is this rhythm. You know, so what is a cue? Cue is something that's kind of helping you, giving, giving you a point, a concept to grasp, to create a movement. So I don't, I'm not really a big fan in cues because if I apply, say, a feeling, a movement, a concept, but it doesn't really tell me what is supposed to be physically happening. Like one day I might feel like I'm using this cue and doing something, but the next day when I try to do the exact same thing, my body actually moves differently. Because 
I, it's not a real awareness of what needs to actually happen. It's just something that kind of puts you in the, the, the range of where we needed to be. But each time we do it, we get a little different version of it and therefore it doesn't create the same result. So I would rather know what needs to happen, which is the kinetic chain pushing force off the ground, each joint driving ahead of the other to sequence the movement up like dominoes, like the whip, right? So the cue is still gonna be built on that understanding. It's gonna be built on that sequence of movements, right? And now I'm not talking about the front side here and all that, we can do that in another video. I'm just talking about what's a cue or a little pattern of movement, a little rhythm, a little bounce I can get into that is gonna help me get feel, feel synced up, connected, right? And that's gonna be breaking the hands, holding flexion, elbow back and up, then the arm cocks. Elbow back and up, the arm cocks, and then I can create this kind of circular pattern leading through the elbow, shoulder elbow, shoulder elbow, and then this is driving down and through, down and through, and now they're countering each other. This is going down and through, this is going up and back, right? Boom, boom, boom. And then I could do this, and then I could throw one out of that movement, right? And you might find when you really get a good uh, sequence, a good rhythm and a good bounce, and it feels really smooth, and then you let one go, everything feels connected and synced up. And you're actually moving through the correct patterns of the kinetic chain to efficiently use the body to put force on the ball, as opposed to just using the arm to put force on the ball, which potentially won't allow you to get to a good high velocity. It won't help you stay consistent at velocity and potentially could hurt you over time. So I hope that helps some, a little simple rhythm or cue of developing a good arm path, not going too far in depth. If you want more information, go to topvelocity.net. You can get more information on our mechanical system and how to train it effectively. If you have any questions, post them below.